cold sets into an unfamiliar body. A distant howling surrounds you, louder with each passing second. Insistent and invisible hands slap and tear at the membrane that protects you. Your first emotion is an involuntary and formless panic. You feel you have forgotten something, something important. As if it once meant the world to you, but the details slip away as you grasp at them. You force your eyes open. The body is... wait, you are, wearing a form-fitting suit of some dark material. You recall that you were wearing something much more elaborate a short time ago. You have smooth, light brown skin, five fingers on each hand, five toes on each foot. Good muscles, strong but not bulky, and slim hips. Your palms are soft, as if they have not done much labor, but scars and burns on the hands and wrists suggest that you haven't always been careful. Why can't you remember this? Without warning, the cocoon that surrounds you shreds and tears away. You are falling. Above you, a small moon is slowly collapsing in on itself. The world is many kilometers below you. You are spinning too rapidly to get a good look. You can see a large landmass, a vast body of water directly below you, and scattered archipelagos. But the detail eludes you. A deep black night is above you, its nocturnal clarity disappearing as the haze of atmosphere envelops you. It's... it's hazy. You were in a tall passageway, its sides slicked with dew, the air warm and moist, as if you were caught in the breath of a giant organism. You remember fleeing in fear and exhilaration, laughing through the terror. What was it that pursued you? Something ancient and cold, its coiling power the promise of oblivion. Its shadowed tendrils struck at you, and the walls where they landed were torn apart utterly, destroyed beyond any hope of repair. You leapt into a membranous cocoon and fell from the... the station, the moon. And then you were empty. But who were you? What was that creature? A word surfaces in your thoughts, and you seize it before it vanishes. Sorrow. The world fills your sight. You're about to hit. It hurts your mind to recall, but you push past it, a creature of the forgotten world seeking you out across the centuries. But it's not you it seeks, is it? It sought the man whose memories you shuffle through now, and you realize suddenly that you are not him. You were... who? Who were you? If you somehow managed to sidestep everything you know about anatomy, physics, and death, and you were surprised to realize that you do know something about them, and you survived this fall, you suspect that you might be able to reawaken a dormant strength you sense inside you. But who could possibly survive a fall from this height? You remember reaching an escape tube, and you remember being struck by a tendril of force, and then the fall. The fall. You open your eyes in time to see a riot of color around you, your descent barely slowed, and then agony flares throughout your body as a crunching impact destroys you. The last thing you hear is a rapidly cycling whine of energy, and then... Darkness. 